Today I'm opening up two Fungal Pop mystery boxes from the company, The Nerdy Newt. So The Nerdy Newt went out of business for a while and they came back. They started selling boxes again in July, a few months ago. And I had like a total of maybe 10, 12 boxes in there. And I was going back through all my orders trying to figure out which box run these two boxes came from. Because I had some that shipped on July 10th, some shipped July 12th, some, some shipped July 8th. But then I also purchased different box runs. So, and the tracking numbers aren't always updated on the website. So, this one, I did find a tracking number. They did update this box with $280 mystery box. I think this one is also a $280 box. So, I guess with shipping costs... The total would be around 600 bucks for both these boxes. Maybe. But the only thing I could, I could find, the actual web page itself is no longer up. So as long as this is the correct box, this is the guaranteed grail mystery box. 30 total boxes, limit two per household for the first 24 hours. So I had like, I think two or three different orders because they didn't sell out within, actually it took them like a week to sell out. But the top hits are the Unmasked Jason worth 640, the Freddy Funko Red Sun worth 560, Robin Ahoy SDCC 440 plus more. It says boxes range value between 250 and 640 as of July 26th. I'm just trying to make sure that I have the right box, the right box. But 46 pops per box. We're going to do them both in this video. If for some reason, if one of these boxes ends up being only worth like 150 bucks, and obviously this was from a different box run. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure these were both 280 bucks a box, of course, plus shipping per box. I think. <laughs> it's always nice whenever websites update their website with tracking information whenever your box is shipped. So you can link your tracking information to your order. If they don't do that, it makes it very hard to figure out what you purchased. Here we go. It is double box. Box in a box. So it's kind of good as we got in the first box here. So weight wise, it's not crazy heavy. I'm guessing maybe four pops in there. I think it said, what was it like? Four to six pops per box. This could hold six pops. It doesn't feel like a six pop box. A six pop box though. Here we go. We feel around first, see what we got. One of their cards. They haven't sold any, any mystery boxes since, since July. So it's been over two months now. So have they kind of like retired the business again? I have no idea. We have one, one pop stack. Okay, we have one pop stack. Here to start, this one is a two pack. We have Degeneration X, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Walmart exclusive, that's a cool pop though. It's not bad. Not very valuable, more than likely. It's, it's a pretty new pop, was it last year? I think 2022, yeah, 2022. The wrestling fan though, it's a must have your wrestling fan. Here we go. We have three more soft protectors. Oh, that's that exclusive Macy's Jeffrey that they released last year. I haven't seen this one before. First time I've seen this one, but we have the Jeffreys with Macy's sweater, which was a Macy's exclusive because all the Toys R Us is, well, the Toys R Us are now in Macy's, even though it's not a Toys R Us. It's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you've been to any of those Toys R Us and Macy's, it's not a Toys R Us. It's just liquidation toys pretty much from other companies big here we go oh we have mirror universe spock ps previews exclusive star trek here we go this one is in the hard stack big hit right here you ready oh nice i will take that we have hollywood hulk hogan wow i've never had this pop before out of all the collections i've purchased Everything I've, I've bought in the past, I have never had this pop. For 2014, it's not bad. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Let's see PPG values of these first five pops. Spock is worth $15. Jeffrey's worth $20. B.I.G. is worth $16. Two packs worth $17. Hollywood Hulk Hogan coming in at $290 grand total of this box, $353. So base price this was, when I say $280, $353. So 
That's fantastic value. No complaints in this first box whatsoever. This was a fantastic box. This was a nice one. This was a nice one. And we're actually doing two boxes in this video. So hopefully this other one's just as good as that first one. I mean, one very big, nice hit in it, and then like a few smaller pops. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. Box number two, once again. This is 280 plus shipping. So if you want to count the shipped price, it was around $300 for each box in that range. Here we go. Once again, it is double boxed. Box in the box. Let's see what kind of goodies we got this time. This was box number seven. It said, I think that one said box 18. I don't remember if you got to choose your box or not. This was bought several months ago. I don't remember. You might be able to choose your box. I don't know. No peeking. Don't look. Here's their card. Bubble wrap. Let me feel around. Okay. Hard stack. Hard stack. We have two in hard stacks. Two in hard stacks. Do soft protectors first. Back of this says Alice in Wonderland. We've got the Cheshire Cat Black Light Edition. Very cool pop right there. I know a lot of people are looking for this for their personal collections. I got one. Actually, all these pops will actually will be for sale in a future Whatnot Live auction. If you never follow me on Whatnot, there'll be a link down below. You can use that link and save 15 bucks your very first purchase. I auction live every Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And if you've never come out for one of my auctions, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to use live for use about two hours or so every Friday night. I sell pops, sports cards, comic books. I do giveaways. It's a lot of fun. Come out next time. Hang out for a while. You might win a free pop or something. You never know. Link down below. Bo Jackson. And all you saw, this pop just restocked. Hurt the value a little bit. We have another two pack in this one. Harry Potter. We've got Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort. 2016, seven year old pop. By a little bit of value to it. Okay, these next two are both in hard stacks. So which one's gonna be the best one? It's a guessing game. Back says Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash Chase, okay. Why is this one in a pop stack for? I think he's only worth like 50 bucks or so. Kind of odd to put down into a pop stack, but whatever. <laughs> Here we go. This one's got to be a much bigger hit. Has to be. You ready? Back says, oh, Saul Goodman. Nice. That's a good hit right there. Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Eight-year-old pop. These are getting hard to find, too. These older Breaking Bad pops. And through the protector... Looks to be pretty nice. Let's go ahead. Let's see PPG value of these pops. First pop, Bo Jackson, 20 bucks. Pot number two, Cheshire Cat, 27 dollars. Pot number three, Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort, 50 bucks. Not bad. Pot number four, Kevin Ash Chase, it's 75 bucks now. This must have gone vaulted. This thing went up way in value. Pretty quickly. I had no idea it was worth 75 bucks. Last time I looked, it was like worth like 40 or 50. And Saul Goodman coming in at $100. Grand total of this box, we're looking at 272. The only guaranteed value was like what, 250 or something like that? This box, I lost just a couple dollars. Just a couple dollars. Not a big deal. Almost got my money back. So first box was like 70 over value. This one was pretty much what I paid. So fantastic hits in these two boxes. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Everything was in pop protectors. Pops that aren't even worth 100 bucks was in a hard stack. So not too bad, nerdy newt. So as of right now, the company is doing okay. They were taking months and months to fill boxes. This last run, they had them fill within a few weeks. They haven't sold any since then, so it might have been like the one last hurrah box run or something. But it's been a few months, no mystery boxes from them. Maybe they'll do it again, maybe they won't, but these are decent boxes.
Lost obsession. I will not stop. No, I'm never second guessing.